Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Let's Play Series 10. Here we are in Open TTD with Hellish City. And I'll just quickly bring you up to speed with what happened in the last live stream on Tuesday. So we expanded the coal network so that we went further up this way to a new coal mine, which looks like it needs a lot more trains. We also added a wharf so that we could get some uh, engineering supplies and bring them over to try and make the coal mine enhanced or gung-ho. Now that will probably happen very soon because you see the trucks are on their way. Uh, in addition to that, we upgraded the trains over here so that they were longer. We put a, uh, a perimeter around both of our two big cities and blocked off the area so that we can't get interfered by the game placing um, new industries and we there is the second wharf that we connected up to our uh, our other coal mines and now we have two coal mines set up and we also set up this canal system with loads of locks so that we can get our farm supplies down that's right I asked you last video um, what way we should get things up and down this hillside and most of you said either boats, trucks or trains and we spun the wheel because I wanted to avoid doing boats and that was quite a popular option in the live stream and unfortunately for me the wheel landed on boats anyway so we've got boats going up and down and we named it after one of our viewer plus subscribers it's the Robbie J Waterway so uh, we did that. That's most of what we did. Uh, remember, if you want to play along with this series, there's plenty of time. You can uh, just uh, go to the website, go to masterhellish.net forward slash s10, and then you can uh, get all the instructions about how to download the map um, and also get involved and and when you need to submit your game saves. We're going to be announcing the first lot of game saves in an episode or two. But today, as the title of the video suggests, we're not going to be hanging around in Hellish City. We've got seven and a half million in the bank and I feel like spending it on something new, so we're going to go away from that. We're also not going to be looking at one of the, uh, uh, at the preservation lands because, well, we've done that recently too. So out of the two other options, we are going to be looking at the No Trains Zone. Now the reason for this is that recently, like I said, we went up this hill with boats and we did locks and that's not something I've done much before and we've got in the uh, a list of GRFs, we've got Shark which gives us uh, access to a whole host of different available ships. There's all sorts of things in there uh, and I think it'd be quite cool to do more of that. So let's go over to the No Train Zone find some good waterways and connect some stuff up let's do that so i think what we'll do is we'll start in the world map let's get the world map across the entire screen there we go and we'll zoom out and we'll get rid of the town names because we want to be able to actually see the world map and this is the no train zone here so you can see we've got a lot of hills around here we've got a lot of hills there and then some hills down the back section there there's a lot of flat land around here in the middle. There's a few bits of flat land around the sides there. There's a lot of water in this area. This could be a good area to work in. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, cool. This music's a little bit loud for me. Might be for you too. That's a bit better, isn't it? And you can see, yeah, we've got lots of waterways uh, in and around connecting. Not all of it connects up, but we could just connect up. Now, this isn't the preservation land, so we could actually dig proper waterways through rather than just using canals. Uh, and if we actually, if we focus over here, look, we've got a few large towns. Uh, well, there's a city there. That, that's good. And there's a city here. That could be a good starting point to do some boats between them. A passenger service through the waterways. Ah, there's another city there as well. Ah, there's a few different bits and bobs. This, this this feels like it could be really good. Now, I want to do more than just a few waterway bits and bobs. And I feel like we should be uh, going through the land and so forth. And using as many of the rivers as we possibly can. Uh, so, let's see. Now, here, look, you see we've got rivers on either side of this hill. And then if we follow this river... It goes into a town that we could connect up quite nicely. 
Uh, there's no cities on the rivers. Okay, let's let's start over here with these two cities. So what we're going to do is we'll start just by putting a dock down at either end. Not an airport. We can do some airports another time. And I think if we just put one here, that's not too bad. It's like on the corner, nuzzled into the city. We're going to get okay catchment there. And then... Yeah, we're going to get okay catchment. There we go. We've got some docks. That's a good start. And then this town over here. Uh, New newborn? Is that newborn? Right, let's put one in here. Again, relatively good catchment. Pop. Now, in these cities, I want them to grow. So we're going to um, gonna do the growth algorithm thing. Now, remember, uh, the growth algorithm requires a unit of cargo, any unit of cargo, to be either picked up or dropped off in a city uh, once for up to five stations in 50 days. So we've got four stations around here, the fifth one being our docks, and we're going to get a couple of vehicles. Now, you could probably just do this with one, but if the vehicle goes away to service um, or breaks down, you might miss one of the opportunities for the city to grow. So that's why we're going to use two. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got a bus going around in circles. I cloned that without holding control, so we don't have shared orders. So let's try that again. There we go. We'll hold control there. And we'll set them on their way. Now, there's a bit of road here that needs doing, so let's put that in there. And because we're growing the city, we're going to expand the road network. Because we know that expanding the road network helps with city growth. Now, I do have a video about city growth as part of my tutorial series. At least I think it's part of the tutorial series. I don't think it's a spotlight video. Um, and they, they're all out on my main gaming channel. But I'm kind of considering updating some of my tutorials just to either make them more clear or add more information. So if there's any t open TTD tutorial video that you feel that I need to do because either I haven't done one about that topic or you feel that the topic could be improved or expanded upon, uh, please either pop a comment in on this video or come over to the Discord and pop uh, a comment in on the general channel or the general forum. There we go, we're going to be growing that city, that's quite nice. Now this one's going to be a little bit more difficult for the growth because where's it going to go? <laughs> let's get the um, let's get those bus stops in. Now we, we don't have to do bus. We, we could actually go around in circles and do mail. That would probably be better because you would actually make a little bit more profit. Uh, but I don't know if I could guarantee having uh, mail to pick up and drop off at all of these stations. So let's clone that holding control and set them on their way. Let's have a look at the city information here. So sometimes people misinterpret this information here about passages and mail as being part of the growth algorithms for a city. It's not. It's just the maximum that a city can provide given the buildings that it's got. So you can see here, this this uh, this city, roughly a third-ish uh, male compared to the amount of passengers uh, that you that it provides. So I think you'd be all right doing mail. Uh, maybe we should do an experiment about that at some point. I I like doing experiments in games, testing out the theories about the way they work and stuff. Uh, in the last live stream, we did a, a test to see if destroying farmland reduces the output of farms and what we did is we went into a test world we completely obliterated some farms and we noticed that one or two of them the uh, output of the farm did decrease slightly but we think that was just due to the general fluctuations of a farm output increasing and decreasing uh, because we took away all of the fields so it did, it did feel like that it, it didn't make an effect. Oh, we've got a bridge here already. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we can expand across the bridge. Making sure... Oh, look. I'm out, of, I'm, out of, uh, I'm out of sync with the road let, let work. There we go. Got to keep everything all in line. Otherwise, the city will try and build its own roads. 
And if it tries to build its own roads, that's less efficient for town growth. There we go. Okay, that that's good. So we've got two cities connected. Uh, well, not connected yet, but they're going to be connected via a dock. So let's do that now. Let's put a dock in here. And we'll put a dock in... Oh, not a dock, sorry. A, a, a depot. And we need to choose a new ship. So this... This water here, I believe, counts as open water. And that matters because some of these ships um, have speed on ocean and then speed on canal or river. So as far as I'm aware, ocean is anything at ocean level. So if I dug a trench that was one block wide, one square wide, that would still count as ocean. Whereas this up here that's gone up a block counts as a river, so it goes slower. So I'm only really interested in doing passengers at the moment. So if we switch it so that it just shows passenger vessels. And then we can also change it so that we're doing by reliability. And we'll have... Or should we do it by speed? You know what? I'm going to do it by speed. Maximum speed. There we go. So we've got the 48 km per hour um, ship at the top. And the 29 kilometer per hour ship at the bottom. Let's switch that round. So then, you can see here that we've got a speed on ocean and a speed on river. Now, this particular route is an ocean route. Even though it's kind of inland, it still counts as an ocean. Uh, which is fine. So that should be good. We've got a good capacity. And the reliability is okay. It's not that great. 77%. Uh, this steamer here is ever so slightly slower Still got a good capacity, but much better reliability, 86%. Then this paddle steamer uh, is the same speed, but a little bit less on the reliability. But has a humongous carrying capacity. Look at that, 720. So I think I would sacrifice 2% reliability for what looks to be more than double in fact, nearly triple the amount of passengers. Um, and, yeah, the same speed, right? Let's just check this vessel down here. Okay, so now we're starting to get to ones that are a bit slower. Capacity is terrible. And the maximum reliability is astonishingly brilliant. So unless any of these... See, this one's pretty fast with a good capacity. Okay, so I feel like we're either going to have the vehicle ferry or we're going to have... The paddle steamer. And you know what? I think this paddle steamer is a very relatively good all round. We're going on the ocean, so we should get good speeds. Um, the, its carrying capacity is amazing. And the reliability is okay. It's acceptable. So let's buy one of them. And we'll give it some orders. So what we'll do... Where is it now? It's over, over here. So we'll get it to go to the docks first. And then I'm going to get it to go through the depot where I think it will service, we'll get it to go through the depot again, to the docks, through the depot, and then back to the docks. Because I've I've realised that I don't think these ships actually stop to service. And if they do, they just go through the depot. Um, so let's see how that goes. So let's see. We've got um, breakdown since last service is is zero last service date there as well so we can keep an eye on the last service date and check out this theory and we can unstop that boat right we'll unpause the game soon but uh, i think what we should do is look at somewhere else to hook up as well because i think oh oh look at this down here this is a nice little city on the waterfront um it's within the same body of water i think we could probably actually incorporate it into our network so let's do that. So let's get our little boat thing. I think if we go in this corner, we're going to get okay coverage for us to start. I mean, obviously, if we put it somewhere over here, we might get better coverage. Um, but later on, when the city's growing a bit, we'll do a transfer service to the docks, get more passengers there. But we primarily want the city to grow first. So again... Expanding the road network. And remember, in this scenario, because we've got the city, city builder script um, activated, only cities grow by normal town mechanics. Towns do not. 
There we go. It's kind of disabled. And the reason for that is that uh, if you want to do multiplayer of this game, then it leaves more towns available for other people to be able to, to work with and grow. Uh, speaking of multiplayer, I'm actually going to be releasing a multiplayer version of this map on my uh, Viewer Plus server. So if you are a Viewer Plus member, you can um, go on to the OpenTTD server that we have. And in theory, you'll be able to uh, to play. Now let's see what we now. So this video will be going out on Saturday. So yes, I, I believe the server will be up and running with this map by the time this video go, comes out. So feel free to check that out if you're Viewer Plus. Get on my server and have a look. Have a play. See if we can do this all in multiplayer. Uh, again, we need some stations down and a few vehicles to help with the town growth. There we go. Whoa, steady. Get them to go around in a circle and we'll get them to do that. Now, I don't think I'm going to grow these cities indefinitely. We'll probably retire the bus service once the catchment of the docks and the transfer stations have just been filled in by big buildings. Because I don't necessarily want massive sprawling cities absolutely everywhere. So the question for me now is, is that how are we going to connect this up to our existing network? Let's put a ship depot in over here. And... I guess we could make the ship do some sort of like coastal route where it goes from one to the other and go around. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Right, where is our ship? There it is. Okay, we want to change your orders. Right, let's have a look at these orders. So we go to the docks here through the depots and then we get to those docks. So then let's get rid of... No, 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 not refit. Delete. Delete all of those orders. Then after that, we're going to go to this dock, at the depot, and to the dock. You know what? I'm not going to put a depot at each end. Oh, there's a ship in the way there. Uh, I'm going to put a depot between each route. So let's get the ship out by unpausing it. There it is. It's a huge ship. Uh, there we go. Right, pause it. Right, now we can get rid of this depot and put it actually in where I want it. Part way on the route, like halfway. So we can go halfway through that one, down through this one, back up through that one, and then to the dock. Okay, that's better because we have less dock stops. Um, not dock stops. Less service stops. There we go. So... After the docks, we go to this depot. Then we go to that docks, this depot. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Down to the docks at the bottom here. And then one last visit to this depot on the way back up. There we go. Right, I fixed ship one. Uh, let's just run the game long enough to see if the last service date changes. So let's put that down there and unpause the game. I also feel like we need uh, another ship. So let's clone that one. There we go. And we'll, we'll get it on its way. Let's just check the road vehicles have come out. Yep, the road vehicles are out and in the city. Are they doing what we want them to do? Does appear to be the case. Okay, let's check over here. Where are the road vehicles? Yep, they seem like they're going around quite nicely. And down here, road vehicles are doing good. Okay, so our two, our two ships have just passed each other. And we're going to find out now if this order of going through a depot um, as a ship actually gives it a service along the way. So the reason why to do this would be reduce the number of boys that you need because it actually helps with the pathing um, and to keep the service interval up as well without... Oh, see, so it did stop there momentarily and service. I think that's fine. It's just, it's, it doesn't have to go in and out 
There's a little bit of a change to the acceleration. But I feel like that's okay. I mean, is there anything on board? I don't think there is. Uh, anything on... Yeah, it's empty. That one's empty. This one here... That one's got quite a lot of passengers, actually. That's cool. Okay, so hopefully our ships can make some money. Okay, so not just going to have these ships going around on this coastal route. If we can upgrade this coastal route, that would be good. I mean, we've got one here. Yes, this, this whole little pond area is looking pretty good. But then it would be nice to have some shuttle services, too. Oh, actually, we could do these two towns, these two cities, on the routes as well. Maybe dig through here, make our own canal. None of these town, coastal towns here are cities. That That's a city. Is there a city on, like, um, any of these rivers that we could visit? So, like, there's a river here that we could use and get quite close to these two cities. So maybe that's something we could do in future. Um, if you've got any more ideas for this area that you'd like to see different things going on, let me know. Uh, pop it down in the comments. But I think we'll do the same thing here, actually. So we'll get rid of that one piece of road, which will allow us to have a piece of room for a... Uh, what's this called? A dock? That's it, a dock. And then we will put in all the stuff over here. So we'll get that out of the way. Make sure that we put these in the right orientation. Finish the road. There we go. Actually, we need to expand the road. Just a little bit. There we go. Not a massive amount. We want enough for our... Um, the, the dock. That's the word I was looking for. Enough for the dock to be able to have a good full load. There we go. Um, last one, I think. There we go. Just to get a few city blocks in there. Uh, we haven't hooked anything else up. Let's get the road vehicles in. There we go. So the first thing we're doing in this no-train zone is we're using ships around a coastal pond to uh, go around. And it would be nice to get some rivers involved and some locks and so forth. I just haven't done that yet. Uh, okay, that's that sorted. Oh, I didn't control clone that one. I wasn't quick enough with my little finger. Also doing incorrect dragging. There we go. That one's got shared orders. And get them on their way. Now what we'd need is a dock between these ones. So I think... I think we'll visit this one on the way there and on the way back. It seems like the right thing to do. So somewhere just over here... This is where we're going to have our ship depots in between the two. And then we'll do something similar over here. Now, this city actually isn't on the on the main water. So we're going to have to go up one of these rivers to visit it and go back. Maybe this river. Um, yeah, and we might have to put a little bit of canal in there, but that's fine. That's That's what we want to do. And we'll put another one in there. Okay, so let's work on this one. This one's going to be interesting. So in order to put a dock in, we have to raise the land slightly. So let's see. Can we raise the land here or here? No. What about there? We can raise the land there. Okay, does that allow me to put a dock in? Doesn't seem to want to. Okay, let's try equalizing that out and popping the dock on there. Okay, it does. And that does cover some of the city um that's fine i guess does feel a little bit small down here maybe we should just use a little bit of waterways to expand the existing river there we go i like that that's nice like fitting in with the nature of the area uh and then in the city we'll do something similar so we'll get in the city we'll put our bus depots in. I'm just using this pattern of bus depot because I I want to. I guess you could put them right next to each other in a little line and it would probably do the same job. Um, I just like the idea of them going round and round a square. 
There we go. Those ones are done as well. Let's get a little bit of road done. I don't know why I didn't use my shortcut. I should I should use my keyboard shortcuts a little bit more than I do. That's one of the things that I, um, I try and advocate to other people, but then sometimes forget myself. Using keyboard shortcuts when, not just in OpenTTD, but in gaming in general, is so advantageous. So advantageous, it really is. Okay, um, oh, I need to work out this one. So the road would go here. One, two, three. Road would go there. I'm pretty sure that's right. I hope I got that right. Like, yep, that looks that looks like it's correct. Um, yeah, that's gonna be enough, right? I think so. Fantastic. Okay, so now we need to change the orders again. <laughs> Silly me. Right. Okay, let's change the orders, and this is why we use shared orders because otherwise this would be an even bigger nightmare. So, we're currently going round... i tell you what, let's get rid of these orders, because we're going round in a really weird direction. So, let's start at these docks over here. Through this depot. Down to the bottom. Then, back up through this depot. To these docks. Through here. Visit... Gunding Hall along the way. Uh, oh, through those uh, de through that depot to the docks at uh, Sendhead, and then back again, back through this depot, back at Gunding Hall, back through this depot. But then it's going to come round to that depot and into those docks. I don't feel the need to visit Nunborn again. So there we go. We've done that. Fantastic. I almost feel like we should timetable that, but I, I'm just going to shy away from timetables on that for a little while. I don't feel like it needs it. Like, it, I, I've mixed feelings about it. Right, let's check these rivers out. Is there anything else that we can connect up down these rivers? Because look, they go right into the hillsides. This is almost completely connected there. We could go into this area. Is there, is, are there any other large bodies of water nearby? So this is a large body of water. Um... There is a city not too far by. And there's a couple of cities over here. In fact, one near a river. In fact, two near a river. So we could actually do an extra service that comes down there. The only thing is we'd have to go a long way around in this waterway. And then these two waterways are not connected. They're pretty close with these rivers here. You could do a canal between the two, actually. Um... Okay, maybe. On this side, again, like I said earlier, there's not really anything there. Is, have I just started with, like, the best one and all the other ones look terrible? Oh, see, look, over here, this is a nice bit of waterways. There's two bits of river here that almost connect up to go through there, or you could build a little canal through. Hmm. But again, there's just, just no cities. Oh, well, there's a city there. It's a long way from anything else. We actually have access to the waterway, the main waterway there. Maybe we should integrate that. Where, where, are, where are our boats? Okay, so our boats are here. If we want to go to the main waterway, yeah, we'd, we'd have to do a lot of rivers and canals. Or, we could just cut through here at Sudwood with a custom-made, like, ditch, and then just through here. Uh, that would allow us to get back onto the main waterways. I feel like that would be a good thing to do. Um, but I think we'll leave it there for now. We've got uh, our first waterways up and going with our boats. I feel like maybe a full load order might be in order to... to like, let's, let's do full load there. And that's going to help space these out. So 1%... Oh, 1% loaded? Hmm... I, um, I'm not going to use conditional orders. I thought about using conditional orders to say, like, ah, uh, well, if, if you are more than a certain percent loaded, then maybe go on to the next one or something. I'm not sure. But, no, actually, it's 3% already. For, maybe that would be appropriate. I'm not sure. Um, 
Maybe we should have chose a busier station. Okay, let's pause this. Go to the stations. And just have a little look at all the ship docks. Sort by... Yeah, I mean, to be fair though, that's not going to work. It's not going to work because none of these have had a ship visit them yet. So there's going to be no people waiting. And there's going to be no people waiting here at uh, Chedding Hole because we've got a ship picking everything up. Ooh, there's valuables there. Oh, no, no. Accepts vehicles. Why did I think there was valuables? This is fur. Oh, my goodness. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I think that's a good time to start to put a pause on that. So consider this kind of the first phase of our ship canal network that we're going to be doing over here in the no train zone. We're going to be doing other things in the no train zone as well, uh, but it'd be nice to actually get some of these uh, rivers and bits and bobs in there. And I'm looking, oh, look at that. Ah, look at this one. This one would be a good one to connect in. Look, we've got, we've got an island with two cities on, cities by not far from the water's edge. One on the water's edge there. One down a river. Oh, that's a nice one. Can we hook the two together? How far away are they? Pretty far away. We might have to look at that on the world map. Okay, here we go. So this is the area we're working with down here in the middle. It's a nice kind of uh, bow in the hillside. And then this area is also a nice area. Looks like there's some good river networks, though, that we could probably potentially go through. Or, here's another option. We do a different boat network over here and connect the two networks together with aeroplanes. Now, we're not playing with cargo distribution on, so really these kind of connecting networks and stuff together actually, in the grand scheme of things, doesn't matter because, well, passengers are going to get on with one station and immediately get off on the next station. But it's nice to kind of think about these things and do it as if maybe it is people trying to get around the world, isn't it? Let me know what you think about that and let me know any other thoughts, ideas or questions you may have. Pop them in the video comments. And if you've enjoyed the episode, as always, please give, do give it a like. If you want to get in touch, uh, one of the best ways is come onto the Discord. We're often having good conversations about open TTD mechanics and the games that we're playing. But that's going to be all from me for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.